All right, welcome to the Zabe cast, everybody. Steve Zabin, Scott Lynn, Al Galdi, Mr. Solomon, a.k.a. Lodef. Hey, look what A-Rod wore to his little confessional. A sweater. Clean white shirt. Lovely sweater. It's the good boy sweater, Galdi. Yeah. If you ever want to look like a good boy, wear a sweater. Choir boy, yeah. <laughs> That's what they make you do. Somebody pointed out that whenever somebody is in trouble... They are always wearing a sweater to apologize, repent, explain, or throw themselves at the mercy of the public. Sweaters. You know why? Because Mr. Rogers wore a sweater. He did. Sure. He's the original sweater-wearing guy. Like, Mr. Rogers couldn't be some sort of creepy pedophile. He's wearing a sweater. You're talking about about the late, great Fred Rogers, who was immune to fault. And it was right. a minister, I think, too. Uh, no who, scandals involved no, with him. Fred? Fred no. was a legend. Right. Did a lot of good for a lot of kids. But let's say that Fred Rogers was not wearing a sweater on that show, uh-huh. was instead wearing a, a trench Tommy, coat. <laughs> a trench coat. Right. Or a Tommy Bahama sure. shirt. <laughs> or one of the Ed Hardys, perhaps. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Right. Or yeah. something with Japanese lettering vertically or, down the right side. A, <laughs> they'd be like, dude, this guy's shirts. a pedophile. He's hosting a kid's show. Yeah. And he's a man. It yeah. would have been so much better had he shown up like Eddie Murphy dressed in Mr. Robinson's neighborhood with some semblance of a sweater, but mostly it was a tank top. You know, I, I believe those have improper names, but if, if Fred Rogers showed up in a tank top, Wife beater. He, whatever, stained, you'd go, <laughs> there's no bloody way I'm watching this show. How about, I believe, uh, Brian in D.C., our legendary caller and texter, said... The Menendez brothers wore sweaters. Is that right? I don't remember When that, they were interviewed on television. Possible, yeah. The two boys that, the preppies who shotgun murdered their parents <laughs> in cold blood. Unbelievable. I believe they appeared on Barbara Wawa or something. It's possible, but yeah, think about it through Mike history. Mike Tyson never wore a sweater? I remember seeing Might him have. in sweaters, and he certainly owed a lot of apologies through the years. So yes, he's worn sweaters. But, but look at somebody like Miles Brand. Tries to come off, you know, I mean, I know he's ill he's right now. He's a sweater vest wearing. Right, but yeah, we used to, you used to say that because yeah. you, you come off as proper when you wear that. Well, yeah, because it's like, well, Miles Brand is not a hypocrite. Right. Uh, he's wearing a sweater. How can he be a bad guy? That's his move. Of course, Bobby Knight was the most evil guy to wear a sweater. Yeah. He still does. The evil sweater, if you will. And whether it had a university logo or, a, you know, a sponsorship. A O'Reilly's 66. Auto Parts. Yes, or something like yeah. that. <laughs> That's right. You know, why not? If they're giving you the sweater, wear the sweater. I personally hate sweaters. They I, suck. Uh, I uh, mean, unless it's a I modern like sweater that is more sweatshirt than yeah. sweater. I'm, well, I'm not a huge sweatshirt. Fan. They're coming back, though, in style. You really? See, you, see, you see it a lot now. The, the look like is... the Cosby sweaters? Remember oh, when those no, were no, no. all those the rage? Not, those are not no. coming back. What were those called? The Coogees? Quilts. No, no I, they had a name. I, I don't recall it. Lodef, what were those? You know what those... Come on, you wear sweaters all the time. Yes, huh. I'm a connoisseur of the sweater. Did you see? Know. Did you see on the Solly Zabe cast a couple days ago, the boys at Sim put him in a Charlie Brown sweater? He had a little peanuts... Yeah. Uh, Line drawing sweater. Very cute. <laughs> what's what's wrong with that? Sweaters are itchy. They're overly hot. I agree. If you're wearing a sweater inside, I guarantee you're hot. You are uncomfortably hot. It happens. It depends on what you have underneath. Too. I want to, if I'm going to the... wear a sweater, it better be a 60-40 acrylic blend, <laughs> which I said is closer to a sweatshirt than it is a sweater. Plus all this new stuff, like this uh, Under Armour I'm wearing, the wicking That's moisture the wicking stuff. I mean, yeah. this stuff kicks ass. Yeah. Why would you ever wear anything other than high-tech fabrics now? Agreed with that. Wool. 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 Low-tech fabric. Wool's a little itchy, and it's very 1920s. Yeah. Sheep. You think sheep were evolutionarily designed to wick away moisture? No, they weren't. They actually. don't look comfortable, do they? No, they no, look they annoyed yeah, they always and ready look... for slaughter. And they always look hot. The cotton animal. That probably looks comfortable. <laughs> Where do they get that? So, in review, if you've done something bad like A-Rod yeah. and want to apologize, I put that in air quotes, wear a sweater. Because then people go, oh, that A-Rod, good guy. Good guy. He just happened to do Prima Bolin and claims he didn't know what he was doing or where he got it no, from. Not ah, at all. come on. An A-bomb from A-Rod. Do you think John Sterling is going to call his home runs less enthusiastically because no. of this? No, I don't think so. Really? No, he Sterling is a company guy. And he can't company do anything man. less yeah. enthusiastically. Yeah. God bless He's him. incapable of he doing that. He goes to Wendy's. I'll have a double. Get the hell out of the way. It's enough. All right. So the Yankees who have done steroids. Ready? Uh-huh. Clemens. Yes. A-Rod. Yes. Pettit. Giambi. Yes. Pettit. Mm-hmm. Sheffield. 
Who am I missing? Melky Cabrera. That didn't cheater. Nob, didn't Knobloch do uh, him? He's Knobloch, yes. <laughs> he was in the Mitchell report. No Damon, correct? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. Okay. Well, as far as we know, again, who knows? Speaking of itchy sweaters, his beard when he was with the Red Sox. Oof, that Yeesh. was an itchy sweater. Yeah. All right. Look, put on your sweaters. Go confess. Go in fact, when you have to tell your wife you've been cheating on her, put on a sweater. <laughs> She'll understand. Thanks for listening, folks. We'll see you next time.